Today it's Mark from Tough Touring. This, the, uh, this video is to show you what's required to get in a um, Bush Company Alpha or Black Series out of the box and prepared to drop onto your vehicle. Once you've got your tent positioned on a bench, um, you need to find a couple of these things. Eye bolts, uh, M8 eye bolts fit directly into the tracks on the side of the tent and add some uh, by bolting them into the roof there. The reasoning for that is, well, firstly, they're tie downs for the gear you want to put on it and it is a roof rack and a tent. This is a great load bearing uh, tent for carrying gear, but also because um, to lift the tent safely, it's ideal. If you've got eye bolts on the top, you can, um, you can basically have a stable lift. Uh, straps and things like that, belly straps, can be really dangerous. Um, anyway, I won't carry on, but uh, we're using our own homemade um, gantry device there, as shown. Once you've got your tie downs uh, safely secured onto your eye bolts on the tent, lift the tent off your bench and place it on the floor. Come forward a bit. Uh, now the reason for this yeah. is that you're going to now use your gantry hoist or your ropes to lift the tent because you need to put the gas struts on. Uh, now the gas struts uh, come in the tent, they're not pre-fitted um, and you need that tent roof to be exactly the right height and angle because there's no way you can push those gas struts in by hand. Um, and you need them exactly right so you don't thread the bolts. So we're gonna do that next. So now that Jim's hoisted the roof, he's gonna grab the gas struts out of the tent, um, place them on a bench or to the side, um, and to get that roof to full height, the canvas, uh, which is Velcroed onto the top and the base of the tent, needs to be removed, as well as the um, fly awning, um, to basically allow that roof to lift high enough to get the gas struts in, because obviously they push past the canvas's standard fitting to make it all tight, as tight as possible. So he's just gonna remove the canvas now. With the canvas removed, uh, he can now hoist the tent to the correct height, up and down, gently, gently, until you find the right spot for the length of the gas struts. The Alpha and uh, the Black Series come, or the, the Alpha in particular, comes with a track mount on the side, which is great for carrying gear and storing things and so on. Um, but it means that the positions of the gas struts also slide and share that track. Uh, because the bolts are already in that hold that the mounting plate in place, um, you can't get the nut in behind it for the actual gas strut to be retained without removing it. So first of all, remove the plates from the top and bottom. Be careful that you've marked them first because they need to be exactly where they are now. Put your nuts in and then put the plates back on. Now that your nylock nuts are inserted behind the plates and ready for the tent um, gas struts to be fitted, Lift the front of the tent, as you're seeing here with a fork now. Um, also, of course, the walls are off, so we can lift it to the right height. And then adjust your lifting up and down until you get exactly the right, so that, uh, right positioning for those. And then you can screw them straight in. I'm gonna um, speed up some of the video through some of these sections, because you've got 10 minutes of monkey around here. Uh, and then you've got another 15 minutes of trying to get the canvas back on straight at the end. So I'll, I'll post those up just to make it a bit more, uh, a bit less boring. Actually, this is great. This is what I need to do Jim every day. Um, this is Jim on seven coffees uh, at the usual seven coffee speed. Now, it's all right. Um, now that your gas struts are on, 
Um, Jim is going to put all of the canvas walls back on, being very careful to keep it straight, neat and tight. Uh, usually that's easier with the roof um, lowered somewhat and locked out at maybe three quarters height or half height if you like. Uh, once you've got all your walls on neat again, um, yeah, she's ready to lift onto your car. Now, there's another video coming up shortly on the various different types of installation. So we're going to cover off how to do a gutter mount. Um, a, a rolled gutter mount is the second type. A canopy install would be the third type. And then a roof rack or roof bar installation is the fourth type. There is a fifth type, which is a roof rail adapter or Z adapter plate installation, uh, which we will cover in time. Thank you. Thanks for watching.